Shalom. All thanks and praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wabrakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters as well. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring, and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. All right? The Holy Bible, this is not a universal book. It's only about the Israelites. It's only about the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as we are called today. And those who may not look like us, but who go back to the seed of Jacob and everything is spiritual. We go off the spirit. We don't go off of physical attributes all the time. Okay. And through this word, the heavenly father, who the world will call Jehovah or God, and through his son, who the world will deem as Jesus Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shai, is calling or gathering the people of Israel, the Israelites, okay, through this word. And it is sparking up a lot of controversy. Different celebrities know about it. Now, this is something the elite have spent billions of dollars to try to hide and cover up. This may be one of the um, biggest secrets known to mankind is who are the biblical Israelites? Do they still exist today? Where would they be? What do they look like? How are they? You know? The Bible shows you who the Israelites are by telling you, and it visually shows you who the Israelites are. Okay? If you have the understanding, you can clearly see that we fit the description. In context clues, we the Negro, Latino, and Native American fit the description. Seeing that this word has gone out throughout the whole world, more people have been waking up to this truth. Now think about it. When it comes to those who are out there wearing garments, which are biblical, out there teaching the Bible, just like the old ancient biblical prophets would do, they have the faces of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That is not by coincidence. That is by prophecy. So let's go on ahead and jump to the book of Sirach. Also known as the book of Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 36 and verse 11. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. And inherit thou them as from the beginning. So the tribes of Jacob, the 12 tribes of Jacob are being gathered. Okay. And the reason why we're being gathered is through this word. And seeing that our people are everywhere throughout the whole world is prophetic that you see Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, not just here in America, which is Babylon in the Bible, but all throughout the world coming back to their identity and calling themselves the children of the Most High God, the Israelites. Okay? To call yourself an African American, that means you're in a Gentile state of mind. To call yourself a Puerto Rican, that means you're in a Gentile state of mind. To call yourself a Cuban, that means... You're in a Gentile state of mind. If, to, to call yourself an Argentinian, that means you're in a Gentile state of mind. Okay? So, through this word, through
through the men that you see all throughout the earth preaching and teaching on the streets, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is using us to gather the tribes of Jacob. Okay? Just like from the beginning. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. Let's go to Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Gather yourselves together, and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Okay? So, we're in that time now, in these last days, where we are gathering together again. Just like when our forefather Jacob literally gathered his 12 sons which are the 12 patriarchs of the 12 tribes of Israel today okay the word is bringing us back together seeing that through our captivity through us falling away what did that do that scattered us okay just like a bag of skittles now the scriptures tell you how Israel is like a speckled bird in Jeremiah. So imagine like a bag of Skittles, which has many different color variations. You open up the bag of Skittles, and let's say these Skittles fall all over the kitchen floor. Okay? Not on the carpet floor, because they wouldn't scatter as much. But let's say they, they scattered on the kitchen floor. Some of the Skittles ended up going under the refrigerator. Some of the Skittles ended up under the table. Some of the Skittles ended up under the refrigerator. Some of the Skittles landed right by your foot. Okay? They've been scattered. Okay? So now that they've been scattered and they already look different from each other, they still came from the same stock. They came from the same bag, so to speak. The same balls. <laughs> that was a horrible example may be but you get the point right so we've been scattered and we look like many different nations we look like all the nations under the sun you know and we're in all the continents on the earth and through this word um the israelites are being gathered back together and that's why yahweh ba shum yahweh shai uh gave us the internet how do you think people are waking up it's not because we're hopping in uh, the vehicle and we, we traveling from here and going there like in the days of old with Paul. You know, Paul would be on a ship going here, going there. Okay. Uh, traveling on foot. We have been given the opportunity to do all this work through the Internet. The Internet is like our forklift. Okay. So let's go to Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 1. Come here, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. So we are able to be heard through this internet. The reason why people throughout the whole earth are able to hear what we are saying is because Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai has given us the internet. Okay. Let's grab one more scripture. So we're in some beautiful times here in these last days. And it's not by coincidence that we've woken up to this truth. This is Psalms 19 and 3. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world and them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun and that's speaking of the internet just like when you go fishing and you draw the line i'm making a video right quick i'll be done soon just like when you go fishing and you cast that line out there and hoping to catch fish through the internet okay through the web that line that's being drawn out, that signal 
okay, that's being drawn out, that Wi-Fi signal, okay, how it spreads. It almost looks like a spider web if you can see how everything connects, okay? But that line, it spreads throughout the whole earth to where someone in a whole different continent, let alone another state, but a whole nother continent can hear you because the internet was invented. Yahweh by Shemiah was shy made the internet for his word to get out, okay? Why do you think they're talking about an internet shutdown? Because the whole purpose of the internet has, you know, basically come to fulfillment. The reason why it came is for this word to get out. Now, yeah, you have TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, you know, you have YouTube, you have, um, you know, HBO Max, you have all these different things, but... None of these things would even exist if it wasn't for this word needing to get out. That's how heavy knowing this truth is, man. We know the secrets. We understand. We have this knowledge. Okay? And plus, if you speak English, your video may be heard from someone uh, in a different continent. And they might not understand your language, but there may be dialogue at the bottom of your video that is actually um you know which it might not always be accurate but you know it gives them a close interpretation of what you're trying to say their line is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world that's not going to happen any other way outside of the internet okay we don't have a a voice so loud that when we talk, people can hear our voice from the other side of the world. Okay? In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Okay? Going up into the uh, satellites. Okay? The internet beings with the satellites drops back down and basically spreads that signal. Now, I'm not a scientist when it comes to that knowledge i could do more research on it but you get the uh you get the point so the israelites were all being gathered through the word of yahweh by shem yahweh shai man people are actually waking up who are of the elect so the elect are being sealed now a lot of israelites know this truth but a lot of israelites are not going to come into this truth because it's not meant for them but for us, you know, we've been uh, gifted with the opportunity, man. And Lord willing, we'd be of that number that can make it up out of here. The 144,000, and that includes the great multitude of uh, women and children. All right? All praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Wa'arakakodash. Shalom.